From the graceful and agile movements of an octopus to the incredible flexibility of an earthworm, hydrostatic skeletons play a crucial role in shaping the biomechanics of various creatures across the animal kingdom. In this video we will explore what hydrostatic skeletons are, how they work and the incredible ways in which animals have evolved to utilize this unique skeletal system. To understand that, let's first look at the concept of what a skeleton is. In most animals, including ourselves, we think of a skeleton as a rigid framework of bones that provides structure and support for the whole body. However, in hydrostatic skeletons there are no rigid and strong bones and things work a bit differently. It is a system in which an animal's body support comes from the pressure within fluid-filled cavities that are spread throughout the body. These cavities are surrounded by muscles and when the muscles contract, they apply pressure to the fluid-filled cavities, pushing the fluid which in turn creates movement. By controlling which muscles contract and when, the animal can achieve a wide range of motions, allowing incredible flexibility and dexterity. That occurrence quite possibly might ring a bell since we see similar stuff all around in our daily lives in all kinds of hydraulic systems. A hydraulic system is a drive system whose movements are initiated by pressurized fluids. Their operations are based on Pascal's law which states that pressure exerted anywhere on an enclosed liquid will be fully transmitted to the interior of the container. This allows these systems to generate large amounts of force with little effort. Alrighty then, let's try to deliver that in easier words. Let's all just imagine a simple water balloon. When you squeeze one end of the balloon, the water inside shifts and moves due to your applied pressure, causing the balloon to change shape. The same basic principle applies to hydrostatic skeletons and hydraulic systems in general. You can see examples for that all of the time in jacks, the brakes of your car, excavators, tractors, tipping trucks, forklifts and much more are all using the same sort of hydraulic system. And if you look closely you will find plenty of examples like that in the hydrostatic skeletons in the animal kingdom. Nature is and will forever stay the best innovator out there. One of the most iconic examples is the octopus, more precisely the eight limbs or tentacles, which have such an insane biology that it is worth to do a whole separate video on. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in a video about the insane anatomy and biology of tentacles. Octopuses are masters of disguise, agility and flexibility, all in huge parts due to their hydrostatic abilities. They can not only move around with insane agility, they will also capture prey with their arms and hold or manipulate objects with remarkable dexterity. Their tentacles can stretch, bend and twist in almost any direction, making them incredibly versatile tools and in my opinion the most fascinating example for hydrostatic skeletal use. Hydrostatic skeletons are not limited to just octopuses, they can be found in various animals, each showcasing incredible adaptions. For instance, the earthworm. These seemingly simple creatures have hydrostatic skeletons that allow them to burrow through soil effortlessly. Earthworms' columns are filled with hemophilic fluid which essentially functions as blood. The columns are segmented so that the worm can expand and contract the muscles independently, creating waves of movement allowing the animal to wiggle along and through the ground. Sea anemones use seawater and the hydrostatic skeletons to extend and retract their body tentacles for catching prey and protection. They just seem like aimless floppy appendages bouncing around in the current but are actually integral to the species movement and survival. Another example that actually does not have a hydrostatic skeleton but still uses hydraulic pressure for movement are spiders. While spiders have a chitinous exoskeleton for protection and structural support of the body, they lack the typical extensor muscles found in many other arthropods. Instead, they rely on hydraulic pressure generated in their prosoma to extend their legs. The prosoma contains a network of hemolymph-filled sinuses and when these sinuses are pressurized, it causes the leg to extend. This hydraulic system allows spiders to extend and retract their legs efficiently and it plays a crucial role in the locomotion motion and hunting strategies. Spiders can adjust the hemolymph pressure in various leg segments to achieve remarkable precision and agility in activities such as web building and capturing prey. In conclusion, hydrostatic skeletons are a marvel of evolution, allowing animals to achieve remarkable feats of flexibility and movement. From the stealthy octopus to the wiggly earthworm, these unique skeletal systems have shaped the biomechanics of countless creatures across the animal kingdom. Now thank you for watching this video, I really hope you got something out of it. If you did, it would be appreciated if you could give it a thumbs up. 
Also, you might want to consider subscribing to not miss future videos. It's free and only takes one click. But most importantly, have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.